Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, ooh. Um, I really don't know what the intro was. Uh, intros? Intro? What? Eh. I cannot English today, so my apologies. Also, my face looks way darker than my um forehead and my my neck. So um, I apologize for that. I today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a bullet wound for yourself for Halloween, or if you wanna do it for like short film or something like that you know mostly for halloween because people obviously will be looking at youtube videos had to do different types of styles or looks for halloween people will want so i'm gonna show you guys how to do a bullet wound i'm gonna do it right on my forehead that's why i do not have foundation here i do have foundation there just to cover up my goddamn skin because it's like really problematic but let's get into it but before we do don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it to whatever. If you're re recreating this look, guys, make sure to link me in your pictures or videos, whatever, because I would love to see it. So yeah, um, let's get on with this. The first thing that I'm gonna do is put on a hairband because I do not want any of the jazz in my weave. I mean, this is real hair, but whatever. Ugh, ugh, why the fuck do I keep on doing that? Um, so in my last video, I did a stitch wound right here. Um, I'm gonna be using the same product as that video. I will be telling you guys what products I will be using again, even though it's the same. But it's a different video, video, video. So I'm gonna show you, tell you guys again. So the first thing you should do is take a cotton pad and a toner and apply some on the pad, obviously, and just kind of like wipe away whatever oils you have or I don't know dirt or I don't know if you're facing clean girl wash it okay guys so my last video I call this a spill week <laughs> um I'm sorry it's spatula spatula I don't know what was going through my ma 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 mind like I said I cannot English properly so yeah but this is a spatula and we will need it today so since this is gonna be like a Halloween look and um, you will want your product your art the to stay on your face so i recommend the match mast mastic extra glue it's basically glue that you apply where say your wound will be but i will not be applying this today because i'm just showing you how to do it and um i will be taking this off right after i'm done this video because i will not be wandering around my house with a bullet wound on my forehead so yeah, we will be using putty again. I know this is just such a weird name, but it's soft putty. So we're gonna be scraping some of this product away for the wound. You will not need a lot of this product. I'll say about this much would be fine. So once I took the product out, I'm just gonna place it on my hand. This is really soft, so it's okay to form and shape it how you will want it to be guys don't forget your vaseline because you will need that stuff so take your spatula and just kind of take some vaseline and just put it on the putty and just kind of work with it so i'm gonna make like a circle kind of thing make sure it's kind of thick because you will want it to spread it out and stuff like that okay so i will want my product to be right over here See, it's kind of coming off for me because I didn't put on the glue. Well, if you're doing this for Halloween or whatever, do put on the glue because it will stay better. Now, guys, you will need your Rosaline and your spatula. Not goddamn spooey. Jesus Christ. Once you have some Vaseline on your spatula, kind of spread it all over. Hold your bullet wound and just start spreading that damn thing out. Okay, so we got somewhere. Now we have this much left. So just keep spreading it out. Okay, so once you have something like this done, you're gonna need the end of your spatula. And we're gonna put a hole right in the middle and just kinda do this. Just twist it in until you can feel your skin. Just don't go too hard on yourself because you don't want to hurt yourself. So we have this so far. 
which is looking lit. I'm gonna be doing an exit wound. Okay, so once we have this, start kind of spreading the product out more on the sides because you don't want it to, to leave it once you've done that with the spatula. So once we have this kind of done, we're gonna take a sponge and we're gonna add some texture into the wound because we want it to look real. Okay, so take your sponge and kind of start dabbing it because you want it to kind of blend out into your skin and not look fake. Okay, so the next thing you will need is the bruise wheel of four colors. It's a Corlette, the black eye, the bruise kind of palette. So you will need pretty sure all of these colors. I'm gonna take my spatula and scrape some colors from this into my spatula, so we'll be right back. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm gonna take a regular paintbrush where you can get it anywhere, like Walmart or supermarket or arts and craft shop. But I'm using a, this kind of size brush right here. If you can see, I don't know. There we go. So I'm gonna go in with a dark blue. You could use a black. I'm gonna take this color and I'm literally gonna fill in my wound. Wound. I'm gonna take this blue kind of color and just fill in my wound. It doesn't really matter if it's dark blue or if it's black because you'll be putting blood and all that jazz into that, so it really does not matter. So I'm gonna take a sponge right here. I know it's dirty, it just doesn't wash off after using the colors. I'm gonna go in with two of these colors. It's basically the two from the wheel. It's like kind of uh, ginger brown, yellow, and I'm just gonna put it around here. Also, then I'm gonna start dabbing, t dabbing into the purple and just kind of start applying the color everywhere. If you wanted, you could take a foundation and just kind of add in color, add color to the wound if you want, but you don't have to if you have the color wheel. If you do not have the color wheel, that's okay. You could use eyeshadows or a foundation. That would really help you out. Go in with the fresh scratch blood effect. And we're gonna take a we're gonna take a spoolie and we're gonna scrape some of the blood out. Obviously, this blood is very sticky and ewy as you saw in my previous video. If you did not see my previous video on how to do a whoa a stitch wound, you should oh, 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 oh. it almost fell on my carpet. But yeah, you should watch my video if you haven't already on my stitch wound. If you wanna do a stitch wound. So I took about this much product. Uh it's all it's to yourself on how much product you want. I'm gonna take the same paintbrush I used for the filling in the little wound inside, and I'm gonna zoom you guys in. I'm gonna just swirl the product in with the paintbrush and just start applying it inside this bullet wound. It's okay if it goes out of the line because you want it to look realistic and that jazz. So after you've done that, Take your sponge and just dab some of that product onto the sponge or the other way around, whatever. And just kind of start splashing the blood, like the blood will splash kind of. What you guys think? This is not the end yet. Uh, the last thing we're gonna do is take some fake blood and I'm gonna shake it up a bit. Then I'm gonna open up the product and I'm gonna put some blood into the wound and let it kind of drip down. I'm just gonna take my sponge and kind of put the blood everywhere. 
I'm gonna apply some more so it kind of drips. I'm gonna move my head, tilt my head kind of sideways so it kind of has that effect of the blood, you know. Just gonna dab the blood around here a bit more. There we go. Oh, well, before we're gonna finish this, I'm gonna go into my Morphe palette, the Tree 50. Am. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here and into sh this shade right here. It's kind of like a brown, not a brown, what am I on about? It's like a red and looks gray kind of look. I'm gonna put it under my eyes so it kind of gives the effect of you're basically dead, you know. So this is the end result of my bullet wound with some dead eyes. This is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that like button. My mom is calling me to eat some food, but like girl, I'm, I'm uh, kind of wounded right now. So I'll see you in a tad minute. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if you want to, I, you know, all that jazz for YouTube. You can do whatever you want, share this video, recreate this look for Halloween if you want. If you do so, don't forget to tag me because I would love to see this on you. Anyway guys, like I said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Skadoodles.